What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to your What's Coming Monday video. We do this every Sunday evening. These are the players that are going to be gone and replaced tomorrow. Now listen, on tomorrow's stream on Monday, I'm going to be doing a wide branching variety topic type of stream. We're going to have some gameplay, obviously, in cards, but we're going to talk about the current stuff going on in the community. So I hope you guys, I hope you guys will join and see you there, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll get into everything. But also, with this as well, for people that are looking for the cards and the information on cards, we do this content every Sunday. These purple cards are part of a selection. So this is the new selection that's going to be coming on Monday. So you can see there that it's going to be an Italian right back, center back and goalkeeper with DMFs as well. So you're going to have a selection for Italian guardians. So this means that obviously we'll know from the databases and stuff once they're updated, we know what legends we might potentially get. Now there's five legends in total that fit this criteria for Italian League Guardian Epics or Italian League Guardian Legends. Our friend CT underscore eFootball over on Twitter, Lillian Turam, Alexandro Nesta, and of course Otto. Now we also have Maldini as well, but Maldini I think is going to be a national team player. So it's usually tied to whatever the club is with this, with this uh, card. So there is a couple of other players that fit the bill, like re-releases and stuff. But I do think that this is a good shout for Nesta and for Turam and Otto. And also, you might look at Nesta and Turam there. What they've started to do is dangle two really good cards in a pack of three. So the third card is more of a kind of, yeah, if you get him, great. You know, sometimes it could be hidden gems like Ambrosini um, or any of those cards that would have come as a third card in the pack, such as Okazaki with Dennis Law and Michael Owen. But it is usually about the big two boys, Nesta and Turam. Now, there's also two other players that fit this bill as well. First up is Cordoba. He's been a booster in the game. This card has been in the game and on the database for a long time. It hasn't been released. He had other cards that came out, so it might be kind of like a re-release re of that. They've started to bring cards double dip now, cards that have been out before. He's done as an extra frontman. He's going to have insane defensive ability with these stats. We also have Julio Cesar as well. What a keeper this guy was. And again, this is going to be down as an offensive or an attacking goalkeeper. We don't know which keeper or which players are going to come. If it's going to be a goalkeeper or if it's going to be all those defensive players that we saw there. But it should be Italian League Guardians. Now, I feel like that it will probably be Lillian Toram. He's a brand new legend and Nesta and then whoever it is. Blitz Curler, will it or won't it come back? I'm going to cover this in the video tomorrow as well and on our live stream as to Blitz Curler. And I'm going to show you. Son, Kiesa, and Salah. We're going to show you because we got this original pack way back when. A lot of people talking about Blitz Curler now. To be honest with you boys, Blitz Curler is not as effective as it once was because you could score from pretty much a load of variety of places before. You had a lot of different uh, chance creation that you could do with Son. These are his stats here, fully maxed out. We'll show you Salah in a second. These cards are ridiculous, but they've got a built-in animation that is unique to just these three cards. So it's not just about stats. I see a lot of people make the same mistake when building cards. They focus on stats way too much. The game only has a certain amount of animations to coexist with the stats. So that's why, you know, the builds are really good if you understand the card that you're building. And that's why we go through our builds in so much detail and test them out and show you with hours of gameplay. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Listen, I know that there's a lot of issues going on at the moment with the, with the game. I know that the servers, I know the connection, I know that the interceptions. We've got into it, we've talked about it for dozens and dozens of hours, okay? And we will talk about it again and kind of like streamline a couple of key issues of what I think they should do going forward as we kind of turn into eFootball 2025. I want to hear from you guys, right? We've already had a lot of feedback in the last two videos and streams that we had. But we're going to get into it tomorrow, right? And we're going to talk about a lot, of, a lot of some stuff. Look, there's going to be a bit of controversy in it. There's going to be a few things that we talk about that is going to cause a little bit of debate, maybe. Um, but that's what we do, man. We're just straight out and we live with that. You know, we're just straight out. We tell it as it is. And I will give you my honest opinions on all things. So tomorrow should be a fun stream. We'll be back then. Who do you guys see, the, you know, hope to come? Or are you in the boat now of like, look, there's no car that they can add. I'm just going to wait until they make drastic changes to the games, which are needed. But uh, yeah, let's see what you guys think. Until next time, I will talk to you lads tomorrow. Hope to see you in the stream. Don't forget to smash the like button. And of course, like the rest of my content if you do, the, if you do like it, if you watch any of it. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Until then, we'll talk to you. Peace.